Hey, this is Carl Willis coming to you from the backyard here in Corpus Christi, Texas once again. And today I want to talk to you about three things that will prevent you from succeeding in your network marketing business. Now, if you'll apply these three things, it'll do just the reverse. It will help you to be very successful in your network marketing efforts. So I hope you'll take to heart these three things as we talk about them. You'll give them some consideration and uh, you'll make those applications as necessary. First thing I want to talk to you about is a fear of uh, something we call the telephone. Many of you are marketing online and hoping that uh, the power of the internet can do all the work for you. And while it can certainly expand the number of people that you talk to, uh, that alone is not sufficient in a relationship building business. You need to be willing to pick up the telephone and talk to your leads. In fact, that's the one thing that's going to set you apart. You'll be the warm body in a field of lifeless affiliate links and replicated web pages. And so a rep, a distributor, a business owner who is willing to pick up the phone and call those who have expressed an interest in what he or she is doing is miles ahead of the competition. In fact, it's imperative that you call your leads within 24 to 48 hours, the sooner the better. The longer you wait, the colder that lead becomes and the more difficult it is to bring them into your business. And so I want to encourage you to make it a daily habit of talking on the telephone with those who are leads and even people who are simply prospects, maybe not leads at all, just somebody you've made contact with. In fact, really 80% of your time should be spent in communication with people. Now you may do some of that through Facebook and email and Twitter and Skype and other forms of communication, but there is nothing like picking up the phone and having a dialogue, hearing that voice on the other end. It's something that gives you credibility. So that's the first thing. Guys that don't pick up the phone, girls that don't pick up the phone, you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Those that do, you're miles ahead of your competition. The second thing I want to talk to you about is not knowing your craft. You hear me talk a lot about this, about learning your profession. How do you truly become a professional network marketer? When we talk about learning your craft, that's more than just learning about your company, your product, and your, your compensation plan. And too many of you are willing to accept that as being sufficient preparation and sufficient understanding of your craft. Real understanding of your craft comes into how do you build relationships. How do you take relationships into a business relationship? You need to learn things like online forms of communication. How do you use Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn? How do you use MySpace? How do you use a safe list? How do you use a traffic exchange? What is pay-per-click advertising? What is search engine optimization? What's a blog and how do you choose keywords for your blog? How do you write articles? How do you submit articles? Those are the tools of the trade. How do you put on a home party? How do you invite people to a home party? How do you present your business opportunity? These are all the tools of the trade that you need to learn. This is learning your craft, learning when to say no, learning when to pursue somebody. These are all things that not only come through experience, but they come through training. One of the greatest ways that you can learn your craft is by attaching yourself to a mentor or a proven leader. Find somebody who adds value to your life and be a part of what they're doing. Don't uh, expect them to join your organization. You go get under them and learn to replicate their steps. That's the way we learn. A journeyman electrician doesn't invite the master electrician to, to his business party. Uh, he follows the master electrician along and learns what he does by following in his footsteps. And the same is true in your network marketing business. The third thing I want to get into, and this is probably one of the more fundamental things, you need to be willing to invest in your network marketing business. There are basically two forms of investment that need to take place. One is time, and the other is money. Now, every week I get calls from marketers who are just frustrated because they can't seem to succeed. They're frustrated because their business isn't growing, and yet when I ask them to make an investment of time, they don't do it. I'll tell them, I have a training that will teach you how to use Facebook for your business. It is 72 minutes long. Go access the training and apply it. And I'll check my stats, and lo and behold, that marketer has not accessed that training. They call me up a few weeks later complaining because they're not making any money. 
and yet they are unwilling to invest their time. The second thing is they're unwilling to invest money. When I tell them, here's a book you need to go read, it's 10 bucks, they don't take 10 bucks to go read the book. They're not willing to invest in their knowledge, their skill sets, their understanding, their mastery of what they do. When I tell people, here is a lead generation system you ought to consider using. It's going to cost you $50 a month, but it's plug and play, and it will help you exponentially build your business. People don't want to spend $50 a month on their business. So, marketer, I'm, I'm going to say something to you that's kind of harsh. It may bite. It may sting a little bit. It's intended to do that. I hope it makes you think, but it's simply this. If you're unwilling to invest time and money into your own business, then why in the world would you expect anyone else to invest time or money in your business? You've already proven it's not worth investing in because you're not willing to do it yourself. So why would anybody else want to join you? You've already set the pace for your team and your organization. So let me leave you with this. Those three things are things that can either make your business fly, or if you fail to do them, they're the things that will make your business die. Don't be afraid to pick up the telephone. Be sure to learn your craft. Attach yourself to a mentor who can take you by the hand. And, and when I tell you to, to attach yourself to a mentor, I, I don't mean the guru who you can just buy their videos. You need somebody who you can get on Skype, who you can get on the telephone, and you can have a conversation and say, here's where I'm struggling today. Who you can say, I'm unmotivated today. Help me out. That's what you need in your business. And, and by the way, just a side note, because I'm always offering this to you, I'm willing to do that for you if you'll let me. And lastly, you need to invest in your business. Invest time in developing who you are. Invest time into building your business. Invest resources. Pay a little money for some things that will help you build your business. Pay a little money for some things that will make you sharper in what you do. I hope you have a great day today. As always, give me a call. My phone number's on the video. Visit the website. One is my blog with just a lot of tips, tools, and strategies. And the other one is my personal training platform. And I'm not going to lie to you. If you decide to go all the way with it, it'll cost you a little money. Probably one of the best investments you'll ever make with your business, though. Look forward to talking with you soon. Have a great day. And uh, look forward to seeing you in my next video.